Uh, well, since you just did that with a, a motherly influence, I guess I will have to do something about my mom. My mother, Johnny Mae, was my kitchen. And you know how much a fat man loves food. <laughs> See, that's why I would so easily say to Johnny Mae every day, I love you. I would go to her for nourishment, both physically and mentally, she would feed me. She held the keys to the vehicle of my heart. I never had to travel far for kindness, since my mother's emotional mirrors never seemed to have blindness in any spots that are marked, like powdered X's, a sweet confection, a trove of treasures even after she drove off this life's exit. You see, I've learned many lessons about death and how it affects us. But rather than remain in part on the one day I lost her, mm. I instead focus on the many fond memories that I'm left with. That's right. All right. You see, together, her and I reached the nexus between humor and honesty. I honored her. She even honored me. I was never left wandering. My wander years weren't filled with tears. No, they were instead cherished. Just like the vehicle's brake pads. Yes, I said the brake pads. Because I used to hate that. I was left with no great dad. But she was the one responsible for stopping tons worth of that potential damage. Her warm, inviting arms were like my car doors. See, they would open and close upon me. Wrapping me like the most delectable sandwich. I know that, right? <laughs> but I, I really always wondered how on earth she managed. Baking such a wonderful and spiritual cake with so few ingredients. So to her, I was always obedient and we never famished. See, Johnny May really loved to cook. Now as I look back in the rear view, there was a clear view of how fulfilled my mother's love made me feel. Which is the reason why I'm so fat now. <laughs> you know, no, 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 wait, wait. F-A-T. Flourishing all times and genteel. See, I was a little eager fat kid and always trying to sample before she was done with the meal, but now she has instilled patience and wisdom in me to know that even though she has reached her final eternal destination, it is within my heart and soul that she will forever have habitation. So now I want every persuasion and every nation to look their mother straight in the face and say every single day, you know I love you, mother. <laughs> See, you don't even have to wait until Mother's Day to show appreciation. If she's passed, and gone, pray and say, I love you, mother. And if she's miles away, call her, say, I love you, mother. And if you are strange from your mother, now is the time to unite. We've got to come together. We've got to do better. Just smile and say, I will love you forever. Yes.